Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm not going anywhere, I am just um, about to film a second half to a nut to a hair video. So I was like, why not just talk um, while doing it? So, wait, what do I do my brows first? Okay, so this is not a tutorial. I think I say that every time I do one of these. But no, this is not a tutorial, but if you would like a tutorial, let me know. I don't feel like I'm at the level where, like, I'm producing tutorial level makeup. But, um, today I just wanted to talk about, what was I doing? Um, I don't remember. I didn't mean to put that on. Um, but, uh, what was I doing? I was doing something and the the thought of like black mental health came to my mind and I was just thinking how like you know there's been a lot of emphasis lately on black generational wealth you know or building generational wealth in the black community but nobody is talking about um it's really hard for me to do two things at one time nobody is talking about the emotional um i don't want to call it trouble but um i don't think black people and i'm i'm saying black people anytime you see me make a video for referring to black people it's because i am a black person um i was talking to my mom yesterday about something about i was like this is why we were watching a yama fix my life and i was like this is why black people need therapy and um, she was like, well, not just black people, white people do. I said, I'm not white. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what goes on in the white community. And, and that's what I, and I, and I meant that because I cannot speak to what goes on in the white community because I don't know. I can know what I see like on social media and stuff like that. But from experience, I know, I don't know a whole lot. I know some black people, I mean white people, but not a whole lot. And I don't know like their, what they do with emotionally. But I do know a lot of black people. And I do know some of the things that they deal with, and I know what I feel like I've dealt with as a black person. We talk a lot about black generational wealth, but we don't talk enough about black emotional health, black mental health. Like, and I don't mean mental health as in just somebody who might have like a mental health issue, but it's more so like, how is your mental, how is your mind, you know, are your, how are your emotions? Um, we don't, we don't talk about that. I feel like as of lately, um, with my generation, what am I, I guess I'm a millennial, um, the discussion of depression that has become, has come more to the forefront. I feel like the discussion of depression and black mental health has become, it's steadily rising, but you still have, but I think it's not geared toward, I think it's more so being started by the younger generations more than it is the older generations because I feel like the older generations still hold on to this idea of you know God will fix everything and keep house business in the house while I still do agree with keeping house business in the house as it applies to social media like I don't feel like certain things need to be said on social media but I don't feel like every problem we have can be handled solely by going to church and praying like I do feel like Sometimes you need, you know, professional help. I feel like we need professional help. Like if anybody needs professional help as far as therapy and stuff, I think it's black people. Um, because of what we go through on a daily basis, you know, this world is not catered to us. Um, there are not a lot of spaces for us. And that can really mess with one's mental. Not to mention, um, you know what what we go through as black people but then also you have the black single mothers the black single fathers um the issues that they could be going through like when we were watching ayanda um what i said black people need the reason what made me say black people need therapy is because this woman and her three daughters were on there and one of the daughters felt like her mom didn't do for her and the mom had never told her that she literally couldn't like 
The mom said her pay got cut from $19 to $10, so she literally couldn't afford it. And so imagine her stress of wanting to do for her family and wanting to do for her children, but not being able to, and then still having to go to work. And she said she couldn't leave the job because she needed the job, although they had cut her pay. So it's like, you know, just imagine having to deal with all that and imagine all the the load that a black mother has to carry, you know, that they don't talk about. And for that, I think you need therapy. Like you need somebody to talk to, to work through all that because then that starts to trickle down, you know, into the way you treat people, into the way people view you, into the way um, you treat your kids and how, that's why, that's why I said, you know, we talk a lot about generational wealth, but you cannot build generational wealth without checking the mental health first. Like, if we have black children who are committing suicide because they're gay, and we're gonna talk, talk about that in a minute, but, you know, or families dividing because the mother and the kids don't cooperate, or, you know, just all these things that go on, and I'm not saying they don't go on in a white, in white families, they probably do. I'm sure they do, but I am not white, so I can speak from my experience and the things that I see. So, um, yeah, just imagine like the things that your mother and your grandma endured, um, and they don't talk about, you know. And there's probably some things that your mother and your grandparents and your, I mean, your grandmother went through that you don't even know about, that probably to this day still have an effect on them and they probably won't ever talk about it. That's another thing, like, why don't our parents, like, tell us certain things, you know? Like, black parents don't always create the space for black children to communicate their feelings properly, especially young black men. And me dating, and me dating, all I have dated is black men, black guys. Um, I have not met one who is comfortable with expressing their emotions not one like it takes time for them to be able to say how they feel they they can tell you how, how if they mad though they don't have no problem expressing anger but when it comes to being in love or liking somebody or you know anything that isn't anger they don't know how to say it they don't know what to do and i feel like that's the parents fault because a lot of times kids are taught, guys, little boys are taught, you can't cry. If you cry, that makes you weak. You know? Like, I've had guys tell me that. Like, when they played sports when they were younger, and their coach or whoever told them, like, you better not cry. Or somebody in their family was like, why are you crying? You know? And so then those little boys playing football grow up to be the black men that I date and, or have dated. And, woo Jesus, it's really something. You know, kids are committing suicide because they're gay and because they're bullied. And I think that black people treat gay people exactly how they say white people treat us. And you can call it what you want, but that's really how I feel. Like. Just how people feel, some like black people feel like white people hate us and don't want us here and they discriminate against us, you know. People do the same thing to gay people. The exact same thing. So it's always, it's really black people don't like gays. It's like, what did it, what, you know, what did it, it's just like when white people don't like black people, like, what did we do to you? You know, what did, you, what did a gay person do to you? Them being gay has nothing to do with you, but yet and still you still have a problem with it because it's in the Bible and the Bible says da 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 da. Bible says a lot of things. And I bet you don't follow everything the Bible says, right? I do feel a way like, who am I as a black person to discriminate against any other person when I'm discriminated on all the time, you know? And it's like, if you, you being gay don't do nothing to me. It don't hurt me, it's just a different way of life. Some people don't have, don't grasp that concept yet. And like I said, a lot of black people view gays exactly the way blacks, the way whites view us, if we keeping it a buck. But that's another, another discussion for another day. 
But yeah, I just, I'm just really like, I've ever since like this 20, what year is this? 2017, 2018 has just really taught me how important mental health is and, and I realized how much we don't discuss, you know, how much we don't share. And shoot, that's too much, I messed up. How much we don't share in the black community. Like I said, there's probably a million things you don't know about your grandma or your mother because they wanted to keep it from you, which is absolutely fine. But I feel like there comes a point in time where you have to communicate with your child and let them know, like, this is what I went through. But I'm just thinking, like, I cannot wait to raise my child because... I want them to be whoever, whatever they want to be as long as it does not hurt anybody. If you want to dye your hair blue, you want to dye your hair pink, if you like a girl, if you're a boy, little boy, you're going to wear a dress, I don't care. You know, like, we just put so many, like in the black community, we just put so many limits on so many things and it's like, our kid, we don't fall into these, a lot of kids don't fall into these molds that we have created and then... We're sitting here wondering why your child committed suicide. Why your child is hurt. Like on a Yamla, the mom, they was basically talking about the story, the episode was basically about like this little girl being, this girl being molested, one of the daughters being molested by the brother. And they had, they didn't know that their mama had been molested. You know? And it's like certain things you gotta tell your kids, like, Go back, this is what, this is why I say it goes back, to goes back to therapy because you have to heal from those things so that you can be a present parent for your child. And I know that everybody cannot afford therapy. I absolutely understand that. I wish that was different, but, I, but the point of people that can, I think everybody should go to therapy, even if there's nothing wrong in your life. I feel like it could definitely help you. Like when I get certain things settled in my life, I plan to go to therapy because I'm sure some things that I need to work through, not just emotionally, like somebody did something to me, but just like to be a better person and to make sure I'm dealing with my emotions in a good way, you know, not a toxic way. Because there was a point when I was pretty toxic and. Um, I didn't realize it until I came out of it. But had I been in therapy, which I was supposed to go to therapy, but um, I could never. How do these work? They'll do. Um, I could never get on the books before I moved away. So that's that. We're trying a new foundation shade, and I hope this works. I don't know. What are y'all's thoughts on like mental health and the black community, and just? What are your thoughts on therapy? Like, do you think therapy is a good thing? Do you think therapy is a bad thing? Like I've had people say they don't need therapy. I've had people say they don't need therapy, but then something happens in their life and now they want to seek therapy, you know? It's like, why does it take a catastrophe or something else for you to go to therapy? Like, I, I don't know. I, it's just so taboo. And I just wish it wasn't like that because I feel like it could be beneficial. And when I was talking to somebody, one of my friends about it, like they were like, why are you like so gung ho for therapy? And I was like, because I've never, I've never seen it not work for somebody. It may you might find the wrong therapist, but once you find the right one, I've never seen anybody say, you know, therapy didn't work for me. Do any of y'all have y'all ever been to therapy? If you did, like, how was your experience? Cause I really want to go to therapy. I just have to get some things straight in my life first, like monetary wise. But I'm definitely gonna look into it because like I said we focus a lot on generational wealth but you can't do much with generational wealth if first of all the generation isn't here because they might be committing suicide and B if they don't communicate properly and they don't know how to deal with their feelings after the year that I had I Mental health is so, like, has become very important to me. 
me personally because I know what it's like to like not have the the best not being to not be in the best state of mind I'll say that and so now that I've you know worked through that I don't want to go back to that and I don't want anybody else to feel like that but also at the same time you can't heal what you don't address. And a lot of things we don't address in the black community. A lot of things we don't talk about. But I just think that's how our parents were raised. You know, I think that's how our grandparents were raised and obviously it passed down. But I do think that, like I said, with certain people, certain types of people in my generation that's changing, which is good. So I feel like I got that out of my system, the whole mental health thing. As far as my life, life is pretty straight. I'm telling you, I know money doesn't buy happiness, but it definitely makes a difference. Like, I am so glad to finally be working again to finally have a coin in my pocket. Oh my God. I ain't no, you know, that. Ooh, Jesus. I don't wanna go back to them to me. Other than that, I've just been working, still looking into school. I think I'm lucky, like dragging my feet because whew, the idea of me going to school is scary. But it needs to happen. What else are we gonna do? We, I mean me. What else am I gonna do? Like, I'm not doing much else right now, so might as well go back and get some more education. So I'm still looking into schools because in school, I never thought I would be going back to school. I was like, ooh, no, 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 no. Once I got that degree, I was like, I'm good on all that, but child. I think, you know, they say God always laughs at our plans, honey. I know he had a good kiki when it came to me. I was talking to this, um, one of my friends that I met in Kansas City, I was talking to her about something. We were talking about um, dating. And she was, I think she had posted a poll about um, what type of dater are you? Like, do you date multiple people at one time? Do you date um, one person at one time? Or how do you date? And for me, what kind of daters are y'all? Do y'all? like to juggle y'all like to have a little roster going or do you like to just focus on one person i personally am and have always been the type to just focus on one person that's why i um i posted on my instagram story not too long ago about like what people like to see on my channel and they were talking about somebody said um date like my love life and worship first of all <clears throat> i'm gonna say this right now i know that's one thing i don't talk about i don't really talk about who i'm dating you know i've never i'm not gonna i i i decided to do youtube if i'm dating someone they did not decide to do youtube so that's just so that's totally separate and then i don't really want to put my relationship or a relationship on the internet because it's not anybody's business like the people there are people I, I know like from Instagram it's that you know you know you follow some people just because like you know the social media like y'all was following each other back when Facebook was cool and like y'all follow each other now like you know and there's no problem with that but I don't really know you like that and a relationship is something that I really hold like near and dear to my heart so that's something that i would like to keep private so if y'all are ever looking for me to do some type of video like um my boyfriend does my voice over boyfriend does my makeup something like that it'll never happen i can tell you that right now that that'll never happen because i ain't nobody business and you know, the way life is set up, like, how does this look? Things can be so temporary. 
and you know people break up not even because like somebody cheated or somebody got done wrong it's just like sometimes you just grow apart from somebody and the only time I would consider keyword consider posting a man is um, if I got engaged or maybe even go as far as to say when I got married that would probably be the only time I'll be willing to share and even then I don't even know because like I said I don't know a lot of I know some I know a good amount of people that I follow like on social media and stuff at the same time like everybody does not wish you well you know and so that's not who I want in my relationship business because then when you post somebody and it's like oh he used to talk to my friend or I know him he talked to so and so he did this and I'm just like okay you know so you know y'all know how it be you post some money and uh, now everybody now everybody got something to say about who you was dating when you before you ain't had this problem so I don't want those problems you know, if you go on my Instagram, you don't even see, like, I don't even know if there's pictures of my friends up there. Not, I just don't really like, I don't really like putting other people on my Instagram, period. Like, whether it's a friend, a man, it's my Instagram. But, long story short, that's not something you're going to get on this channel. It won't be too much boyfriend going on. But back to my original point. Um, we were talking about what type of date are you? And I've always been the type to just chill on one guy. I'm pretty like, I'm, I'm almost pretty certain that I know what I want. Like in a guy, like I can kind of look at you and talk to you a couple times to know like what it is that I want from you. If I want to date you or not date you, I can kind of tell that pretty easy. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time or one, and I'm really, I'm not gonna waste your time. So it's no need to I have. Remember what I was talking about? Shoot. All right, guys, we're about to go into the fail portion of this video. Um, my camera died right before this part, and then. My makeup did not turn out how I expected it to be. I was trying eyeshadow, like, not for the first time, but I'm not really big on eyeshadow. And then, eh, you know, it just kind of turned into a different kind of video after that. After failing at my eyeshadow later on in this video, you know, my whole focus was just thrown off. But I promise you guys, I'm going to get better at doing my makeup on camera while talking about it. I feel like your 20s are supposed to be, like, the time spent, like, living your best life, quote-unquote. But I don't feel that way. Like, I feel more confused about life than I did at any other age. Like, in my teens, I guess because this is the age when you really have to focus on life. When you was in college, you didn't necessarily have to worry about life. Like, it created a bubble, you know? But now that I'm in my 20s, it's like, no, you really gotta start thinking about life and I'm just so unsure as to what it is that I want out of life. Well, not I'm sure, not unsure as to what I want. I know what I want out of life. I'm more so confused as to how to get there. You know? Like I wish I could like call up God and he showed me like the end of where I'm gonna be. And then after he shows me, I just be like, all right, that all I gotta do is get there. I need to figure out how to get there. But when well, no, all that ain't happening, this time of life is so confusing. Like, where am I going? How am I getting there? What what's going on? Where am I? You know? This might not even make it nowhere because this is atrocious. I'm not gonna talk on like how I wanna talk. But y'all are watching this video. It's because I felt like it was okay to post. Wait, what are you going on? I'm 
to be a get ready with me, a chit chat, but I was not feeling my eyeshadow look and I'm still not like feeling 100%. I do not normally do eyeshadow, but I was just feeling like kind of spicy today. And yeah, I was like, well, let me just try it. I mean, it's not bad, but I feel like I put lashes on so you can't see it as much, but it definitely needs work. I was trying something that I saw another YouTuber do. But I haven't watched the video in a long time, so it is what it is. It's not bad, but it's not bad. But um, I guess oof. I don't really have anything else to talk about. But yeah, if you guys um have anything that you want to see from me, please, please, please let me know. Um, Willie, really? that's it. Um, I'm trying to think of all the things I can. I'm only one person, so you guys might, you know, come up with something that I don't know about. Like I told y'all earlier, relationships is not one of them. Well, we can talk about relationships and dating and stuff, but it won't be like mine specifically, you know? You feel me? I'm still trying to get better at like the first get ready for me I did, it was also a struggle. And this is still a struggle because I don't feel like I don't really, I don't know if I'm going to post this if you're seeing this I like I felt like it was okay enough to post but the idea of me like doing makeup while talking and doing a good job at my makeup because I'm not I don't know I'm still trying to learn and perfect like my makeup routine so yeah I'm trying all right I'm doing what I can Probably not that popular. No, not that popular. It's okay. Wait, I know this is not supposed to be a tutorial, but this is the Kiss lip liner, just a dark brown, but it's even just any brown. And then this is NYX Intense Butter Gloss. They have a butter gloss and they have the intense one. This is the intense one in cookie butter and cinnamon roll. I have been really into moods for the past a million months. So, nudes as in nude lip colors, not no nudes like man nudes or girl nudes. Not in the girls either, but um, okay. So this is cinnamon roll, but is this the order I put it on last time? I don't know. Let's see. Alright, so that's a little bit dark. But when you add cookie butter to it, ooh, I just said, dang girl. Say it don't spray. Lighten it up with the cookie butter. Oh my god. what this is looking like on camera. I'm going to have to play this back, but Alright guys, this is it for this shit tag. Get ready with me. Thank you all for watching again and if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe and if you want a makeup tutorial, let's do a thumbs up for a makeup tutorial. My regular everyday go-to full face because I do the same thing every time. So Let me know if y'all want to see that. But in the meantime, again, thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.